Welcome to Sheboygan County Government, working for you. My name is Adam Payne, Sheboygan County Administrator and co-host of this program with Chairman Mike Vandersteen. And as you know, every month we try to highlight a different department, one of our 22. And this month, we're very pleased to have our airport director with us, Chuck Mayer. Welcome, Chuck. Thank you. Chuck has the very important task of being the airport manager and overseeing a, a pretty good sized complex and a lot of good things happening out there. So we're pleased to have him with us today to talk a little bit about the roles and responsibilities of the airport. Chuck, please begin by sharing with our viewers a little bit about yourself and when you first started working for Sheboygan County. Thank you, Adam. Um, <clears throat> I've had the privilege of working for Sheboygan County, believe it or not, going on 39 years. I think I'm probably the senior department head uh, out of the 22 departments right now. Um, first 16 years I, I was with the county planning department and uh, past 23 is the airport. Um, it, it worked out you know, so well for me that uh, uh, the transition for a few years I was kind of juggling uh, both planning department work and, and airport and then once we really got into the meat of things at, at the county airport and the, the, five-year capital plan, infrastructure improvements and whatnot. It, it was just a natural to transition, you know, to the airport full time. And uh, uh, history, you know, speaks for itself. The last 23 years, uh, we've, we've got a lot accomplished. I imagine a lot of our viewers have not been out to the airport recently and perhaps heard about a number of the improvements you've made. And some of our viewers may not even be aware that Sheboygan County actually owns and operates an airport. It's, it's one of our, right. our gems, as you certainly know. Right. Please set the stage a little bit. Uh, tell our viewers a little bit about the airport. How long has Sheboygan County owned and operated it? How large is it? A little background. <clears throat> Sheboygan County got in the business of uh, owning and operating an airport uh, back in the uh, early, uh, I think it was 1950s. Uh, Thanks in part to a public referendum uh, that the county board initiated uh, that was in November of 1956 as far as uh, deciding whether, you know, the, uh, the city or the county should own and operate a municipal airport. Um, that's pretty much what uh, started us down the road as far as the county owning and operating a, a municipal airport. I think it was in 1958 the county board then applied for state and federal funding. Um, construction began on the airport. It was completed in 1960. And July of uh, 1962, the airport was officially dedicated. Since that time, that facility has grown to over 1,100 acres. Um, and we have two runways uh, at the airport. One is being extended as we speak now. Um, the primary runway will be uh, extended out to a length of 6,800 feet. Secondary runway is at 5,000 feet. Um, you know, just a great facility. Uh, you know, we've got over you know the past 23 years, uh, facilities grown to uh, include about 51 private, industrial, corporate hangars. 115 aircraft are based at that facility with a estimated value of in excess of uh, 150 million dollars. Uh, the, the hangars that are out there right now are privately owned by business and industry, and the hangars are worth uh, in excess of uh, $5.6 million. So the local community has really made an investment out at, at Sheboygan County Airport. Tremendous growth at the airport, tremendous infrastructure improvements, mm -hmm. thanks to the good work you've done raising you. federal and state funds and working with the county board. Uh, but one thing that really hasn't grown too much is your staff. Uh, as you well know, you're one of the smallest departments in the county. How many staff do you have and what are your roles and responsibilities? The uh, staff, uh, our current uh, table of organization basically uh, defines one airport manager full-time and two full-time airport maintenance, maintenance technicians. When things really get tight out there, especially in the winter for snow removal, uh, you know, then we'll bring a limited term employee on board. Uh, Airport department's operating budget's about 450000 a year, and I'm proud to say that uh, uh, better than 40% of that uh, cost is offset by revenues that we generate on the field. So it's not 100% totally, you know, uh, taxpayer subsidized. And this, the work that you do, obviously keeping the grounds looking good and the snow removal and all those important tasks, but uh, you're not alone. You have a fixed-based operator out there, and I know there's recently been a change in that regard. 
uh, who is the fixed-based operator and what's their role and responsibility at the right. airport? Yeah, the, the fixed-based operators have, uh, the past 23 years, we've seen that change four times as far as private sector uh, fixed-base operations. It went from Chaplin Aviation to Magnus Aviation, Western Shore Aviation, and just within the last two months, uh, Burroughs Aviation. And that the fixed-base operator basically is kind of a full-service uh, uh, provider for uh, aviation needs, uh, whether it be uh, you know, coordinating uh, the rental of uh, you know uh, cars, transportation, um, fueling of aircraft, um, you know, just full full service type things. Uh, in addition, they'll do uh, flight instruction, air charter, rent airplanes. Um, you know, every everything you know for folks who are in aviation or are using aviation to traverse from you know one part of the country to the next. To give people a little better feel for the the uh, size of our airport, you mentioned how many acres associated mm -hmm. with it. I think you said 1,100. Right. Uh, how about actual use? How many airplanes do we have coming and going year-round? Well, due to the uh, you know economic downturn, uh, we've seen our numbers you know come down considerably in the last year. Um, we're probably in the, in the neighborhood right now of about 50,000 operations a year. Uh, as far as takeoffs, landings, and things like that. Um, Sheboygan, as far as ranking with other state airports, is very interesting. Um, we're we're um, still in the probably the top 10 uh, out of over 100 you know, public airports in, in Wisconsin as far as the uh, number of based aircraft and uh, uh, aircraft operations per year. And I think that's what surprises a lot of people if they haven't heard that before. To be in the top 10 out of over 100 public airports uh, mm -hmm. says a, a lot about the airport and the activity there. Right. And speaking of activity, though it's not a, a commercial airport like we have in Milwaukee, from a standpoint of the economic development, uh, you've got some very important base tenants there. Uh, what Give us a flavor of who's predominantly utilizing the airport. <coughs> Out of the, the 51 hangars that I had referenced before, uh, we've got some major industrial tenants you know, that are, are based at that facility that have their own corporate flight departments, uh, uh, such industrial uh, companies as Kohler, uh, Aerometric Engineering, Richardson Industries, Plastics, uh, Bemis Manufacturing. Um, those are the, you know, the, the, the real big, the majors. And then we have uh, a number of smaller up and coming businesses that are based at, at Sheboygan County Airport. Uh, the business is located in Sheboygan County. And again, something interesting is uh, other businesses that are located as far out as West Bend and also Manitowoc County that chose to base at, at Sheboygan County Airport because of the infrastructure that we have in place at that airport. Final question before I turn it over to Mike Vandersteen. Um, it always amazes me. I, I'm not a, you know, a person who knows a heck of a lot about airplanes, and I know you certainly do, but every now and then you'll point to an airplane at the airport and say, that's worth this many million dollars. Uh, what what uh, kind of airplanes do we have out there? Give us a sense of what they can cost. And then also, what kind of airplane can our runway handle? Just uh, what types of airplanes can actually come and go from Sheboygan County? Well, just backing up a little bit as far as um, you know, the uh, infrastructure improvements that we've made at the facility has, has caused that facility to be pushed into a different airport category according to the, the, the Federal uh, Aviation Master Airport Plan across the United States. Uh, we're now one of, uh, I think, maybe about six airports in the state of Wisconsin that is a corporate transport category rather than just general aviation. That's one level below the commercial uh, airline type airports. And with that gives us the opportunity to, you know, um, qualify for funding for additional runway lengths uh, and other type of infrastructure that goes, you know, that supports that type of corporate transport category operation of our airport. Uh, that brings into the picture then the larger uh, type of uh, private corporate jets. And that pretty much is our backbone at Sheboygan over the years. It's the uh, 
the chartered, uh, whether it be turbine aircraft or, or jet aircraft, um, rather than just the small single engine, four place, uh, you know, general aviation type aircraft. And I, I guess a lot of that, again, you know, we have to thank, uh, uh, be thankful for um, some of the world class golf courses that we have in Sheboygan County that attract, you know, uh, you know the clientele in, into this area. And um, basically their first stop is Sheboygan County Airport. And we want to make very sure that that first impression of Sheboygan County when those folks get off the airplane, you know, it's, it's going to be Sheboygan Airport and that has a big influence on, you know, that, that first impression of, of the area. I'm proud of, you know, what, uh, what that facility looks like now. and. Um, and we, we sure see the folks, uh, you know, that just keep coming back year after year. And um, as the events get larger, um, again, we're trying to, uh, you know, accommodate uh, handling those uh, numbers and especially the larger aircraft. Um, as I mentioned before, um, as, as we're speaking right now, that runway, the primary runway is being extended. Um, there's another 800-foot uh, 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 extension being placed on the north end of our primary runway which is runway 321. And ultimately, when that's completed at the end of the summer, we will be at an overall length of 6,800 feet. And that will accommodate aircraft uh, up to like a DC-9 category. Um, the range of aircraft um, of that category and, and other aircraft that we have based at Sheboygan County Airport basically is uh, you know, they have the capability of reaching into, uh, you know, the Pacific Rim. Um, case in point, uh, last winter we had a Global Express leave Sheboygan County Airport, fly nonstop, eight and a half hours later, landed in Moscow. And, and you mentioned a DC-10, and again, to give mm -hmm. folks a flavor for the size of these airplanes, some of them certainly look like they're, they could be commercial airplanes because yes, of the size. And, and what, what can these run? What type, how, ex how expensive are these? Uh, <clears throat> uh, on, on the corporate side, um, uh, the, the, the latest uh, machine that, that came to Sheboygan County Airport was about $64 million. That's for, for one corporate jet. Very good. Thank you, Chuck. Sure. Chuck, you just talked about that airport uh, runway extension, and um, there's a lot of work that's gone into that for several years to get that mm -hmm. project ready. Could you tell us a little bit about the long-range planning process that uh, is ongoing out at the airport? Right. Um, that started, the, the long-range planning started many <clears throat> years ago uh, as far as doing, uh, you know, the appropriate uh, economic studies of the airport, the capacity, demand, needs, and, and whatnot. And then taking that information and uh, basically petitioning the Wisconsin Bureau of Aeronautics and the FAA for funding assistance. Um, along with that, we also uh, took that petition to the full Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors for their blessing. Because basically they're the ones that, uh, you know, have to acknowledge that, uh, you know, taxpayer dollars are going to be spent at Sheboygan County Airport. Um, we've had airport capital improvement projects in, in the county five-year plan uh, for, for the past 20 years. It's been a very slow and articulate you know, process as far as uh, improving infrastructure at the facility. Uh, the um, uh, qualification again for the funding, we've been so fortunate. Uh, I, I can't recall a petition being uh, denied uh, on the state or federal level for uh, projects that we deemed were necessary at Sheboygan Airport. Uh, funding is so important, uh, you know, from those sources. Um, as an example, the runway extension, the uh, Federal Aviation Trust basically is where a lot of, a lot of the dollars come from for these airport improvements. Um, we're looking at 95% funding from this Federal Aviation Fund two and a half percent from the Wisconsin Bureau of Aeronautics and two and a half percent from local taxpayers. And that, I, I'm proud of that, uh, you know, as, as far as being able to aggressively go out, pursue that type of money, it, it's almost, you know, 100 percent, so to speak, a, a one million dollar uh, capital improvement project uh, at the airport under that cost sharing scenario basically, you know, cost local taxpayers $25,000. 
That's great. We really appreciate the work you do to pursue those funds and use those funds to improve our airport for the benefit of the citizens and the users. Um, to go on a little bit about um, the other groups that you work with, who provides input and guidance to, to your department uh, as you go through your operations and your capital plans? Right. I'm really proud to say that it's, it's quite a, a team effort as far as other, you know, uh, uh, groups in, in the Sheboygan County government and other departments in, in the county government. Um, working very close with, with Adam, uh, keeping him apprised of, um, you know, long range uh, planning and, and uh, how that is going to fit in or impact the, the, the county's capital improvement plan, you know, from year to year. Um, working with the finance department and uh, especially the county highway department. Uh, so often we can take projects, uh, qualify for funding, and then award that uh, project to our county highway department and they actually will do the construction of uh, many of the projects out at, at the county airport. That's great. Now, we just uh, recently heard about uh, the uh, lease signing that uh, we had with Morgan Aircraft. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us uh, a little bit about um, what the county and the state have done to encourage this development out at the airport, as well as what it might ultimately mean for the airport and the community? Sure. Uh, I think it was back in 2007 when Morgan Aircraft first approached uh, the, the county, uh, county Transportation Committee uh, as far as um, reserving a spot on the airport to build. Um, from there, it, it kind of built into a, a, a number of um, uh, steps that we had to go through as far as looking where, what the project was going to cost, where it would fit in our capital plan, and then again, where are we going to find funding to make this happen. And uh, again, through the process I explained before, we petitioned the Bureau of Aeronautics for infrastructure development up on the uh, north central quadrant area, about a 50-acre parcel on the airport, to develop. Uh, the Bureau of Aeronautics is cost-sharing a $1.6 million infrastructure development of that area with us. Um, it's a 80%, 20% cost-share, not quite as good as some of the federal programs that we can get into, but this is a, a state aid program, and it's still a good deal. You know, they're paying 80% of that infrastructure development, we're paying 20%. Um, so that worked out well. Um, the um, Wisconsin Department of Commerce also stepped up to the plate and provided uh, Morgan Aircraft with a $30 million uh, uh, tax um, in incentive uh, uh, offer or program. I'm not really all that familiar with it, but it was something that Morgan officials were very, very pleased with. And, um, you know, thank goodness we were able to keep this um, hopefully future aircraft manufacturer in Wisconsin rather than having them see them, you know, leave the state and go elsewhere. Now, as far as our commitment to them, you talked about the development of the Northwest Quadrant. Mm -hmm. We also made some commitments uh, for some other infrastructure, I believe some site preparation and um, a water reservoir and some wells. What, what does that uh, amount to dollar-wise for us? Ultimately, when the entire um, development of that north central quadrant is completed. I think we're looking at about six million dollars overall cost. Uh, that would be for the extension of municipal sewer, uh, the uh, well system, uh, water reservoir for fire suppression of the huge uh, manufacturing plant, um, road improvements that are necessary down, down the line as far as uh, you know, fixing up our uh, road infrastructure network to, you know, and we've got these 2,000 employees traversing to and from work. Um, it's about six, six million dollars. Uh, the county's investment in that will be about two million. And uh, the other uh, uh, dollar amount will be coming from, you know, other funding sources. Now we're going to be staging our investment along with their uh, building. They're going to start out with a small uh, hangar and office space first, and then as they prove and test and get approvals for their aircraft, then we'll be taking the next step and making a larger investment as they put the 13-acre factory in. Is that correct? That's correct. And um, it, it took us many, many months to work through a, a comprehensive lease agreement, and that pretty well, you know, sets sets things out in, in stages for us. Um, we'll, you know, we're not making infrastructure improvements until we have certain assurances from Morgan 
you know, that they're uh, indeed going to be building the manufacturing plant. You know, then we'll bring out the municipal sewer. Um, right now, infrastructure will be for access roads, a security gate, um, a taxiway off the secondary runway, ramp area, um, street lighting, things like that uh, at the airport. This is just a tremendous opportunity for our community and really appreciate the work that you've done to bring us to at least this first milestone in, in this development of hopefully a, a new world-class manufacturer right here in Sheboygan County. Um, to go on a little bit, um, you know, this is kind of a, a big and special item, but what else are you working on at the airport over and above the, uh, the runway extension and, uh, and uh, working with Morgan for their factory uh, out at the airport? Right, we've got one other major project going on right now, and that, that's occurring in the southwest corner of the airport. Uh, we're, we're rebuilding um, some of the uh, taxiways that, that come off the primary runway and also feed into the uh, uh, industrial and, and corporate areas. Uh, some of those surfaces are 40 years old. St structurally, they've uh, exceeded their service life, and. Um, you know, it's time to get back and, and, and get into uh, those areas of the airport infrastructure for reconstruction. So that, that's another $1.2 million project that, that we're handling in addition to the, the $3.2 million uh, runway extension and the $1.6 million uh, Morgan Aircraft uh, uh, infrastructure uh, that's going on. So we, I've, I've got uh, quite a bit on my plate uh, this summer. I know as I there. looked at our capital improvements program, you've got these big dollars in there. Right. The nice thing about it is very little money needed from the taxpayer to fund right. many of these things, and right. we that's fantastic. Now, are these other projects you mentioned also going to be funded through some assistance from the Bureau of Aeronautics and, and the federal government as well? Everyone okay. is funded at the 97.5%, uh, 2.5% uh, cost ratio. So. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what you perceive as the economic benefit that the airport brings to the community mm -hmm. and, and, and how do you make uh, money to cover the revenues? How do you bring the revenues in in your mm -hmm. budget to, to fund uh, the portions of your operation that it does? Well, that was one of the prerequisites as far as qualifying for the state and federal funds is that we had to prove to state and federal officials that uh, you know the millions of dollars that they're pumping into Sheboygan County Airport is justified. Every few years, we will uh, uh, have a um, uh, airport economic impact study done. And the most recent uh, study was in 2007, and just a real uh, high overview of, of that, that study summarized that the airport at that time basically supported about 223 jobs, and that equated into about uh, $9.2 million in, in wages and in payroll and also about a $23.5 million economic output and sales uh, type uh, initiative that, that uh, having the airport uh, you know, in place uh, caused. So the numbers are, are very positive every few years. Uh, you know, that economic impact study uh, you know, shows uh, the numbers uh, you know, increasing. And I, I hope we kind of turn the corner now as far as airport expansion. Um, you now we're getting back and focusing on infrastructure, the rebuilding what we have, taking care of it uh, so that uh, as the aircraft get larger and heavier and whatnot, uh, you know, that, that we can accommodate them. Uh, and, and I guess one thing also to put uh, the viewers uh, <laughs> at ease, you know, I'm talking, you know, heavier, larger aircraft. The newer aircraft, uh, it's, it's really incredible to listen you know, to these new machines that come into the airport because they're designed to be much quieter. Uh, they have a shorter runway takeoff capability, landing capabilities. They're more user friendly to the environment compared to the older generation of jets that just you know, kind of gave you a headache <laughs> when they take off. You know, they're so loud. Those things are you know, finally going away. Now, Chuck, where do you get the revenues that you bring into your department? Uh, what parts of the operation does the county benefit from in, in, in operating the airport uh, directly? Revenue stream uh, generated by Sheboygan County Airport basically comes from the, uh, the hangar lots that, that we create. Uh, the county retains ownership of those lots. We lease the lots to uh, private, corporate, commercial 
uh, sector you know, to, to build on. They will put their hangers up and then from there they pay us a yearly lease for that site where their building is located. We also generate revenue from fuel that's sold by the fixed base operator. Uh, I've got some agricultural land that's still within the, the uh, airport perimeter fence and we maximize that the best we can you know, as far as producing revenue. Okay, thank you. With that, I'll turn it back to Adam to wrap up. Thanks, Mike. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to get out to the airport or you want to learn more about uh, what's happening out there, we have an annual event on Father's Day that uh, has just been tremendous, Wings and Wheels. And Chuck, mm -hmm. of course, has been a big part of helping that be successful. And you work with a lot of other nonprofits to get it done. But what, if our viewers or if someone uh, watching this program hasn't been out for that, what is Wings and Wheels? What's it all about? Okay. Uh, this past Father's Day, we celebrated our 19th annual Wings and Wheels event. Typically, uh, the airport will experience about eight to 10,000 people that will, you know, uh, come through the front gate at Sheboygan County Airport for the one-day event. Uh, it's free to the public. Um, we have something for everybody at that facility as far as airplanes to look at or cars, tractors, boats. Um, things for young kids to do. Um, doesn't all have to fly to be out there, does exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> it's just something for the whole family. And, and it's free. You don't have to spend any money unless you wanted to buy something as far as, uh, you know, the concessions that are set up there by some of the uh, civic groups and whatnot. Just a, a wonderful activity. And, uh, you know, we expect, uh, hopefully with the help of EAA Chapter 766, they're the primary sponsor of the event, that they will you know, keep this going for many years ahead. Great family yeah. activity, and you also yeah. have the new Heritage Museum now to right. have your pancake breakfast in and, mm -hmm. and give people shelter if needed. A beautiful facility, is it not? Right, that's, uh, I believe, a $1.6 million uh, um, uh, privately owned facility. Uh, it's a nonprofit group that manages that Aviation Heritage Center, and that has been such a blessing for Sheboygan County Airport as far as hosting events, uh, major events, uh, or just small gatherings, things like that. Um, case in point, for the last two years now, we've that because of the Aviation Heritage Facility, we've been able to accommodate uh, a group of uh, warbirds that will come to Sheboygan County Airport and have a, uh, a training safety clinic uh, formation flying practice and everything. It's a T-28 group. These are um, airplanes that come in from all over the United States to Sheboygan County Airport. They're there for a week. They go through their, their safety clinic. And then um, the day that uh, the EAA convention starts in Oshkosh, they will fly out of Sheboygan in formation <laughs> to Oshkosh and, you know, they, they do their uh, world-renowned uh, formation uh, flyovers and aerobatic practice. But the neat thing for Sheboygan County is we, we get to see all of that first, and we don't have to fight the traffic at Oshkosh. It's, <laughs> it's right at Sheboygan County. You know, we uh, kind of uh, get an airspace uh, waiver from the FAA and allow the T-28s to do their, their practice on uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Um, the, the group just really enjoy Sheboygan Airport and they've kind of made it their home base now for the future. Well Chuck, the time's flown by here. Our 30 minute program has come to an end and I'd just like to say to our viewers that uh, you may have absor observed or just heard from one of our more mild-mannered department heads, but let me tell you, you're not going to find a better airport manager in the state of Wisconsin, and I'll bet he's one of the best in the nation. We're so pleased to have you with us, Chuck. Thanks for joining us today. It was my pleasure. Thanks thank for you. the great work you're doing at the thank airport. You. And thank you for joining us. Next week we'll have, or next month rather, we'll have Sherry Reininger, our new finance director, with us. So until then, on behalf of the Sheboygan County Board and County Board Chairman Mike Vandersteen, thanks for joining us.